Hello all, today we are going to see a question number 30 from GATE 2019 Mechanical Paper 2. So consider two concentric circular cylinders of different materials M and N in contact with each other at R is equal to B as shown below. So you are given these compound cylinders. So the system is subjected to internal pressure P. You are given these variables which are basically the radial and tangential displacement and the stress for both M and N type material. So now you have to find what is the boundary condition that need to be satisfied at the frictionless interface between two cylinders. So the interface is frictionless. So this is a problem of compound cylinders. So you can check out more details about the phenomena happening here in uh, NPTEL lecture design of machine elements one uh, in that particularly you can check design for cylinders and pressure vessels two by uh, professor SK Roy Chaudhary, professor G Chakraborty and B Mehti from IIT Kharagpur. So let's go ahead. So you are having uniform pressure throughout. Uh, if I look carefully, if this is something which is closer to M and this is something which is closer to N. So there shouldn't be any gap between these two surfaces. That is how the design is done. So that means you cannot have different radial displacement for M and N because as you have some displacement for M it should be equally adjusted by N. Therefore these two parameters that is the radial displacement for M and the radial displacement for N these two should be equal. They should be equal. Okay so here we are finding that first condition. Now since we got that your displacement is same. Now consider this as the interface at M. So that means you are going to get uh, compressive forces like this. Okay. Now consider another interface for N. Here also you are going to get same forces, just the direction will be different. Okay, but the force value will be same and the area. That means your stresses are also going to be same. So your sigma RR, that is radial direction for M and N is going to be same. So this is the second condition that we have got. Now let's talk about uh, the other conditions about what happens to radial directional things. Now we know here that the interface is frictionless, right? So that means if this cylinder is rotating this way, the cylinder can rotate this way also or any, any way because both are not really uh, affecting each other. So that means their displacements may not always be equal. It can be unequal also. So the maximum probability of it being equal uh, is less. So the probability is less. That means it might be unequal most of the times. So that automatically cancels the option C and option B. And we have already found that uh, this condition is always true, going to be true. That means your option D is also wrong. So your final answer is going to be A. More understanding is required for this particular concept because most, most of the phenomena regarding this is not given in the problem. However, you can check out uh, NPTEL uh, lecture to understand it more deeply what is happening here. And here if you notice we have eliminated the option than finding the actual option. As the answer. So uh, I hope you understood this thing. Uh, thank you.